Hey, I saw, I heard Mike Tyson say one thing. I was watching an interview. Mike Tyson was being interviewed in Africa, and they got all the reporters asked. They asked him who he thought was the best heavyweight of all times. And Mike Tyson said that in his, in his mind, he thought Muhammad Ali, of course. And these guys continue to say, you know, why, why, why he, why he thought that, and why he believed that Muhammad Ali was the best. And he said because Muhammad Ali wanted to win, Muhammad Ali wanted to be the best, and therefore he was the best, and he had that desire, you know. And studying Mike Tyson's life and listening all the stories and and watching all his interviews and you know reading some of his stories. In books, you could see that his life kind of went downhill because he he didn't have that desire to win anymore. You know, he was world champion at a young age, 20 years old, youngest champion, world champion of the world. You know, uh, making millions of dollars. You know, had a sex addiction. He uh, was, you know, always had like 15, 20 girlfriends, and uh, he had the wrong people around him wrong management, wrong friends, Don King got involved in his life. And you can see his life started going downhill in outside the ring and inside the ring. Inside the ring because he got lazy, stopped moving his head, uh, you know, and before he used to move a lot, he couldn't even get hit. They have hard time, they, they used to have hard time finding him opponent, I'm sorry, uh, they had a hard time finding him training partners because he used to move too much, they couldn't hit him. But anyways, and that kind of, you know, it touched me in a way that we can do so many things if only we wanted to, you know, in my, in, in, in my career, you know, I could do so many things if I wanted to, you know, be a world champion, do whatever I want, but the fact of the matter is some of the things we don't want to do, you know, I don't want to be a lawyer, I don't want to be a police, you know, just things like that. But if you really put your mind to it, and if I say, you know, I, I, want, I want to win this fight, I want it so much that I'm going to get up every morning. I'm going to give myself, you know, I'm going to dedicate myself to that goal, and I'm going to give myself, you know, I'm going to train hard, I'm going to do everything that has to be done in order for that goal to be reached. And it's just amazing that, I don't know if you get it, but just by wanting something so bad, we can reach that goal. Sometimes we don't reach the goal because we don't want it enough. You can say you want it all you want, but if you don't put your work in, then you, you can never reach it. So if I, if I say I really want to win the tournament, but I'm kind of lazy, I don't want to train, I'm kind of lazy, I don't want to diet, I, want to, I don't want to drop weight, then I start to fight at a heavier weight because I'm too lazy to drop weight, then there's a lesser chance that I'm gonna win because I don't want it hard enough. There's other people out there that they want it so bad and they're going to take it from you, you know. It's just something that applies to everything that we do in life. Whatever we desire, whatever that we want, we can reach, you know. And I believe that God has given all of us gifts, all of us talents. And those talents are made to be, you know, to glorify Him. And uh, whatever we put our mind into, you know, the Bible says that we can do all things through Him who strengthens us. And that was just uh, something I wanted to share. You gotta have the desire, you gotta have the, the will to do it. When we start doing something, you know, I noticed that people start training. They really wanna train because they love it. They love the sport, they have fun, it's something new. That's their motivation to train. And then as time goes on, the, re the reason that we keep going is not because we still, you know, we just in love with the sport anymore. It's just the priorities change, motivations change. Now you don't train for fun anymore. Maybe you want to do a competition. That drives you. Maybe you want to get a higher belt, and that drives you. Maybe you want to reach a certain championship, and you want to win a certain tournament. You want to beat somebody. You want to, you want to be able to learn more. You want to, you know, just certain things like that. So throughout your life, the, your motivation starts to change. Your goals, you know, start to change, and that's why you stay in it. And sometimes we just get, we just give up. Sometimes we don't want to do it anymore because we don't have any motivation. We don't want to compete. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do that. And those are barriers, you know. I just want to share that. And uh, you got to keep wanting it. You have a desire. You go for it. You take it. And don't stop.
God bless everybody. Hope you enjoy.